Hi guys, uh, hi people. Uh, actually, glad to uh, see you all and be a part of the community. Uh, my name is Alexei, as uh, was already said. Uh, so, uh, I'm a Core Dev. Um, I'm Ethereum Core Dev um, in Nethermind. Um, in this company, we are working on different stuff, um, including developing uh, this. Um, Execution client for uh, Ethereum uh, with the same name as the company, and uh, uh, for other layer two networks, um, similar stuff. Uh, additionally, we work on uh, research, uh, protocol development, and um, audits. Uh, so um, this year, we got a chance to uh, work on uh, P2P implementation in .NET. Uh, we hope uh, um, this implementation will allow to uh, to build more uh, P2P applications, uh, Ethereum related and, and not, uh, but mostly our implementation is Ethereum centered and I will add more details later. Um, yeah, uh, so we started this year um, uh, with help of uh, the Ethereum Foundation uh, which provided us with a grant. Uh, we have uh, uh, an alpha version of um, uh, the library, which means that we have no uh, pro uh, production apps uh, built uh, with it uh, yet, but we hope uh, to have it uh, uh, maybe next year, maybe even uh, sooner. Uh, well, the library is a public good. It's available under MIT, uh, um, and I will provide some links uh, after all the slides. Uh, made in um, uh, C Sharp, uh, based on platform.net. Uh, um, uh, for now, it's just 7.0 version, but we will upgrade soon. Uh, so, uh, let me dig into details. Uh, we uh, have uh, two stacks um, um, being implemented. Uh, so, we, uh, we have uh, uh, like uh, TCP stack, which is uh, quite stable. Um, um, has uh, noise and uh, YAMUX um, as a multiplexer. And uh, we also tried Quick, which is promising and uh, like um, performant and simple uh, uh, transport uh, for this stuff. And uh, um, we uh, specifically use MS Quick implementation of it, which is cross platform, and uh, uh, everybody recommended. Uh, uh, to use it uh, because it's um, uh, it, it's good. Um, uh, revealed that uh, it has some uh, small bugs, but uh, uh, already working uh, when we uh, test it, uh, for example, um, trying to communicate with other implementations like like Go ones, but still some issues with Rust and uh, Zigger, I guess. Uh, we hope to fix them soon. Uh, uh, in addition to transport layer, we also have um, just a couple of protocols um, uh, on application side. So it's basic stuff like uh, ping and uh, identify. Uh, I guess needed um, uh, by any application uh, to confirm identity uh, protocols and um, to produce some liveness checks. Uh, in addition, we uh, have PubSub, which is uh, widely used on Ethereum uh, to exchange messages uh, about uh, stuff happening. Uh, specifically, uh, it's a flood sub uh, and gossip sub uh, 1.0, uh, which uh, uh, have been implemented, and we are working on 1.1 uh, version. Uh, also, hope to add at some point uh, future versions like 1.2, which uh, has additional optimizations for large messages and so on. Uh, okay, and uh, we have no like uh, cool uh, production, uh, uh, useful for production implementation of discovery. Uh, we just have MDNS for uh, debugging purposes, I guess, and maybe you have some local network uh, uh, applications. Uh, uh, you can use uh, um, this discovery there, uh, but um, with, ho with help of our friends, uh, uh, Lip P2P will be um, 
like complemented with some samples of real world discovery specific to uh, um, Ethereum. Uh, so for uh, .NET guys, probably it will be more interesting, but uh, well, uh, so specific details on how it can be used. Um, because of Quick, we need to enable uh, preview features for your project. And um, uh, additionally, just add uh, this dependency of uh, lib P2P, and it should work in most cases. Yeah, that's how work. Uh, that's how it uh, uh, looks like uh, if if you want uh, to uh, start listening on specific port uh, with uh, a period. Uh, we have no uh, such good thing like uh, a peer store for now, but it's in progress. It will allow us to uh, make more abstract interface when we will be able to listen to Quick and uh, other stuff, which is very uh, uh, convenient and scalable. Uh, for example, Gossip Sub, which is already working, but uh, it will be simpler to um, like separate some logic about um, manipulating with specific addresses and so on uh, from that protocol, which is already quite complicated and uh, uh, huge in terms of implementation. Uh, so how it started? We just uh, uh, straightforwardly, uh, like simply tried to implement uh, TCP stack uh, starting from February this year. Uh, docs are really good. Uh, it was uh, mostly enough uh, uh, to start running uh, the entire stack. Uh, uh, before we faced um, a lot of different um, issues uh, with uh, uh, interoperability. Uh, uh, and we, well, Wireshark and GoLib P2P helped a lot in these terms. GoLib P2P is a very nice implementation in terms of uh, that it is uh, very, very tolerant, maybe, <laughs> uh, to naive implementations like we have. And, uh, well, uh, so, Every protocol introduced uh, uh, different corner cases. Uh, you can, um, for example, um, in multiplexer, uh, you, you can, you need to uh, half close channels and uh, manage windows. Um, on the encryption layer, uh, you can make a fast, hand, fast protocol negotiation, pre-negotiation, I would name it. Uh, so, uh, we felt it to make uh, like very specific um, uh, protocol, uh, like interfaces for every protocol. Instead, we uh, uh, just decided to do uh, very um, generic, uh, to do it in a very generic way. So every protocol, including transport uh, and uh, application layer uh, things, are implemented uh, just using this uh, asynchronous interface. Uh, Protocols uh, can communicate uh, via channels uh, on different la uh, layers, and uh, you additionally can spawn up upper layer protocols using factory, and you have some kind of context which allows you to get uh, information about period and so on. Um, yeah. And after all, you can uh, assemble all uh, the stuff into a kind of stack. Uh, so, for example, here we uh, define uh, uh, encryption as part of TCP stack. Uh, and uh, then uh, we combine Quick and TCP on s the same layer and uh, uh, add um, uh, some up layer protocols uh, above it. Yeah, quite simple and hope it will allow uh, like uh, other developers to add their protocols um, easily. Uh, so uh, we aim at uh, exact uh, such things like uh, simplicity uh, in terms of library usage. Uh, we will switch to performance mode in more um, uh, in the future when we will provide stable version. Uh, what else? Um, so uh, even right now it's optimized enough to have not a big overhead. Uh, and uh, we hope uh, to test uh, it with uh, thousands of peers soon and uh, confirm this uh, assumption. 
Okay, so we have uh, plenty of protocols uh, uh, done and working, and we are working on uh, uh, newer versions of Gossip Sub, uh, integrating with test plans, uh, which is uh, actually really productive um, um, uh, like work because uh, we reveal a lot of uh, interoperability issues and uh, fix them on the way. And we want that peer store. It's like a short-term plan, uh, so we hope uh, you will see this progress soon. Uh, as for the future, uh, we have uh, some small internal projects we want to test the P2P in, um, like querying data from Ethereum like that. And we also uh, have uh, some people outside that already want to um, try this library and um, uh, integrate it into their application. Um, yeah, we are considering IPFS tech uh, to implement in terms of discovery and communication. Uh, future versions, well, uh, right now we want to just implement uh, all the protocols uh, um, needed and uh, then we will switch more to a protocol completeness uh, 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 API stabilization um, and um, first table release will be really performant, I promise you. Uh, okay, so uh, how to get uh, involved? Uh, we have a kind of friendly repository. Um, it contains uh, um, a dozen of issues. Uh, you can work uh, on them or create new ones. Um, actually, you can additionally request some samples. Uh, we have docs and you can, uh, using them, you can create your own protocol and, uh, well, quickly start using uh, the library. Um, and of course, uh, let's uh, build uh, together. Uh, if you have any ideas, um, for example, uh, the library uh, even with uh, um, after adding quick is uh, cross-platform. It means that uh, uh, there are a chance it works on mobile devices. Uh, yeah, uh, or if you want to integrate it with uh, uh, like uh, with some existing uh, repos which contains uh, different implementations, it would be cool too. Uh, as more applications, uh, 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 then better for the library in terms of um, like corner case uh, handling and so on. Um, thanks for hearing. Uh, any questions, guys? So, what were some of the issues you found when like implementing? Like, what was the most difficult part to implement given the specs condition, basically? Oh, <laughs> uh, well, uh, things uh, uh, became a bit simpler when we switched to plain text while debugging all this stuff, and uh, it allowed allowed us to, to see the real bytes and so on. Uh, actually, for example, Yamux uh, documentation, well, uh, for some reason, uh, I misinterpreted it uh, like a couple of times before <laughs> before I got it working. Um, yeah, what else? Uh, uh, docs are quite good. I, I guess maybe a couple of details would help, but, uh, well, maybe we will do it later a bit, yeah, while revising all the implementations. Thanks, okay.